Hey everyone, I'm very happy to announce to you guys that official MP stream FW Builder 1.0 is finally launched. Yes, I'm very happy, and many people was waiting for this moment. So thanks everyone who helped out. All your credits are added in the MFW Builder. Do not worry about that. And of course, we'll be having more future tasks with the time. As always, people are all submitting your tasks. So you guys, if you want, you can submit your own tasks um, that you have based on ours. So if you, yeah, so example, if you want to share us one of your tasks, you can, uh, of course, and don't forget to add the stuff needed for it, of course, if you have a .self file, don't forget to add it. the set self here, set self, and the blah 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 dot self name here, so it will work, and so the encryption of the file will work, by the way. Everything is fixed, do not worry, and the encryption is properly signing the, um, the cell files. Some cell files does not work because um, it may be possible that uh, <clears throat> the settings for the encryption wasn't set in or anything else. Anyways, so let's get to the real business here. Alright. Let's open up PSTREAM FW Builder. Now let's see. Patch VHS. Now I have 4.50 features. Yes. And we have also the LVO, LV1, LV2, NAS plugin, SPP verifier, SP package A token. Explore category game, category plugin, patch XMB, and there's another stuff, patch XMB here to add into the package files and app home. Uh, another patch VHS with some other features which are repeated eventually. And patch the in game screenshot. So, we're gonna try some tasks real quick. Uh, what we're gonna do level uh, two begin pull for four dot um yeah four dot fifty uh LV one also for four dot fifty well we'll also map it out there we go and we'll also do the uh LVO um LDRs and they this one too there we go and I think we're pretty much ready to go all right. So let's get to business. Alright, here we go. Here it comes the moment of truth. So thanks, Top Mechanic, Blue Cross, which is my brother, my Aniki contributors, Arisa X for his tasks, Hayes367 for his patterns and help him for many tasks, Habib for most of uh, his patterns, and um, from. Uh, Oh, forgot to set something. There we go. The keys. So if if you want to be having this error while unpacking the dev flash or anything else, please don't forget to set the key folder. All right. So set the key folder to data. All the keys are there. Do not worry. They are all updated. And do not do not think that you have the latest private keys for the latest firmware. These are only the 3.55 private keys for 3.55 QA flag or OFW. That's all. So. Don't forget to set <coughs> the things here, so we can see. Okay, 4 out of 50. All right, that's good. There we go. All right, this is good. Good, 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 and good. All right, now we're good to go. Let's start it up. Ah. Alright. <clears throat> so like I was saying, the country producer Razor X for his task is uh, Habib for his C CFW patterns that he gave us and allowed us to take some. And he award for the SCE tools for the signing. Akash 2 for the one of his tasks. And more PS3 Hacks Networks members that helped us improve uh, PS3 MFW Builder for the launch of the official firmware. 1.0. Here we go. Unpacking the dev flash. 
And if you want, if you have installed TCL here, you will also get this console, which looks pretty much in detail uh, of what's happening, and gives you the log, the complete log of what happens after if you get an error or anything. So guys, if you get an error on any features that you tried, uh, please report it back, and we'll try to improve uh, the tasks and make stuff even better. Yep. So let's continue. Sorry if you some. If you might hear some background noise, uh, these are my family, which are pretty much crazy. Anyways, <laughs> all right. The flash two, three. There we go. We're gonna patch the VHS now. This react off on on uh, online offline. Turn the bright haze. Oh, we got a new email. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> the only thing that matters right now is this. <sighs> So, like I was saying, if you encounter any errors, please report it back. You can report it back to PHP Hacks and the official topic, uh, which we are actually really uh, active about, and where all this stuff is happening, which I'll show you right here. Okay, I'll give you the name of the topic, and here it is PHP MFW 3.3.1 plus 4.xx tasks. Alright. Now I'll refresh the page because I was waiting for a reply. I think I got the reply. Okay. It's not important. All the matters with selecting anything to do with fun. Blah, 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 blah. I can't find a fun because of my puppet. Okay. So I started getting annoyed with the main category working on. I can see I unpacked the pub. I've taken the name like it wanted to be a streak. So you'll have to look them in emergency names. I don't sleep, but I don't know what Okay. So we're just trying to make a rename category. Uh, uh, tasks, which doesn't work right now, but he I know he will find a way to make it work. Or if it doesn't work, if it no, like if it just simply doesn't work, well, he will just cancel that task and we'll just remove it from PHP builder. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go back to PHP builder. As you can see, we did the part one for the offset, the, this kind of offset. And actually, that's not the real offset. Well, the the real offset is already given on the XGC. If you try to patch a file on F files on the XGC. You have the true offset and the block <clears throat> of the selected uh, patterns to replace. All right. So we can see here that it is signed properly to VHS applying VHS dot self values. Here we go. We see here the power period, and then there we go. Mod patch the LVO. We're patching the LV one LDR. There we go. We're now we're going to the LV2 LDR. And there we go. Now the ISO LDR. And then the app LDR. Ah, this is really neat. Almost on part 4 now. And now we're going to part 5. There we go. All the patches for LVO is done now. They're all repacked using the proper values through uh, signing. And now we're doing this LV1. <sighs> Now we're patching the CoreOS hash checks for 4.5, which is also fixed by me in the habit. <coughs> <coughs> of course, we use his patterns from his CFW to make it work. <coughs> no doubt. <laughs> so, let's see here. I'll just like, check my quotes. That I think is uh, ResurX quote. Yep, yeah, that's right. Nothing to worry about. Oh, well, let's just minimize it. And let's go see here. Okay, now we did the CoreOS hash check, which actually worked. Now the LV1 hypervisor to remove LV2 protection. Alright. <coughs> I have a little cuff, but it's not a big problem. Um, even though if I woke up in a bloodbath in the morning, but it's alright, because I'm still alive. I see I'm still here talking to you guys, and giving out the latest news for the PSG MFW, which is pretty much good news for all PSG amateurs who want to make their own uh, custom firmwares, which with MFW are called uh, modified firmwares. Hmm. As you can see here, release Habib CFW 4.5. For 4.50, I mean, 
that is the thing that we used uh, the patterns for to make the CFW well I mean to make the latest tasks for uh, the people here so we added an LV1 patch beacon poke and all that stuff here well we didn't do PSP comp compatibility tests yeah patch react PS and that yeah that's what that we did for point five five and yeah OFW that we did can run sign game with up keys we yes that's we, we did our soul bypass not yet but eventually we will pick and poke blah 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 that's all we did <clears throat> alright so we'll just minimize it and see what we're going oh my god we're pretty much for now pick and poke is done hypervisor mapping out is done now we're going to LV2 now I'm seeing LV1 is pretty is signed properly alright now we're running test patch LV2 I think you can hear the background noise now. Anyways. <laughs> Good old Hadib. Yep. Alright, now I see Pika Poke for LV2. It's pretty much being processed right now. God, it's insane. Oof. I don't know what the hell is happening outside there, but anyways. Alright, now we can see it's still patching the peak and poke part one. As we may know, it takes some time. And of course, that's this is the the task that takes the most time to do the uh, LV2 peak and poke patching. Well, actually, part one is pretty much slow. Uh, see here, sorry for the wait. Slow depends on the RAM, and eventually I have a lot of RAM, like six gigs of RAM. So it's not supposed to take that much time. And now we're going to do part two, which takes a lot less time. Still see it's still working. Alright, let's go see something else. Uh, let's go just see my YouTube on previous videos that I had. Is it done yet? Oh, yeah, it's done. It's done. Oh, God, it's done. You see here the patch now signed with LV2 values. Applying LV2 kernel cell values. There you go. And then we patched the NAS plugin. And this is done, done. Done, 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 done. Yeah, that's cool. All right. If you see some offsets here, and they're different from the other ones, and that means it's just, this is just the 4.46 offset. It's pretty much normal, so don't be mad or don't be scared that it didn't, doesn't, it will not work. It's pretty much okay. Now it's still here. Uh, we're processing really quick now. Things are re running pretty, pretty smooth. Patching is running. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Everything's good now. Almost done. Patch extra one. Explore category game for the install package files to show up and all that stuff. That's what all these pad um, tasks are for. Every feature is necessary for a minimum requirement to make a CFW work. Yep. So if your install package files and app home doesn't show up in the XMB, it's pretty much normal because this is not really completed, but it's pretty much stable, so that's why we uh, we did the official launch for 1.0. For you guys to be happy and enjoy it completely, for free. It's free, that's a freeware. Yep, open source freeware. So, let's go back to where we were. Video management. Oh, of course, I have a new outro and intro. I'm doing some face cams lately, and I had got I got my new HD PVR. Now I can make some HD videos for my gaming, so people will not complain anymore about the video quality of the gaming. As we saw later on before, we did the commentary for the three uh, 0.3.1, and yep. 
now we're and also we've done the development from three zero point three point one and now released the new one. Alright. <clears throat> so let's go back. Okay, now we're patching the category game for the uh, add install package files and app home, which I believe that it is for. <sighs> Alright. Created completed task, it's all done. There we go. And now we're going to pack up the pup, which will be saved in the selected directory. We're going to select it in the uh, documents directory. Let's go see documents and unpack. There we go. We got the well, these here. We'll just delete those. Pretty much useless. But anyways, there we go. Now we're gonna wait for the the pack to be finished. Packing modified pup, the image version. There you go. Make sure it's always a good image for you. There you go. Modified pup built successfully. Hooray! Now you just built your first pup. There you go. You can see right here. Yep. Alright. Now let's just open it up. I think the LLS tools. Hey, it does work. Alright. I can see here. Everything is properly built. No errors. There we go. Ah. That's pretty much awesome, right, guys? So now you know this is fully stable and and completely does work. So if anything happens, please don't forget to report back, and don't forget to please sub, like, and don't forget to comment. And if you're a, a real PS3 developer, a, a homebrew developer, or anything like that, well, please leave a feedback and tell us if you want to work with us. So thanks for watching. Like, sub. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Peace out.